hi all so today in this video we'll be seeing how we can generate a HTML report after our execution so whatever we have done so far we created the tests okay so now we'll be seeing some kind of report after the execution so currently we have having only three tests okay so let's see uh, how to generate the report without doing much in the code so in pytest we have a plugin called pytest html so if i go to the chrome browser and here uh, this is the plugin we need to install pip install pytest html and if you come here it will look like this okay so we can also attach screenshots so that will not be seen in this video but we can cover it later so let's try it and see whether it's working or not correctly so as we can see the latest last released version is December 13 2020 so let's copy it and uh, let's go to the terminal and hit pip install just copy it and run okay so we can see the requirements already satisfied so that means we already having this or maybe we've already had it so that's fine so currently we are having this package installed in our virtual environment so uh, let's uh, run our test uh, okay so last time we have executed this one so let me just remove this part and like okay now i will be giving one flag called dash dash html equals to the name of the report so report dot html okay so what i have done i have just given a flag called dash dash html and then give the name of the report so this report will be saved under this root folder now if you want to get i mean want to store it in a different folder then we can create uh, in order to create we just have to give one folder name okay and it will be created on the fly so let's say we give the name like report slash report dot html okay or we can give it like my my report this is also looks fine my report dot html and before that let's say we are giving reports slash something like that so probably it will work so let me first try without giving this report and let's hit enter and see whether it's working or not so it started execution and all the three tests passed that's cool and let's see whether our reports get created or not so as, he, as you can see like this my my report dot html got created and uh, let me open it in uh, explorer so here if i just uh, open it in browser so uh, what i can do i can open with google chrome so yeah so as you can see uh, this my report.html got created and like you can see this report got generated on 19th june so that is today and um, we are using this pytest html that is also given also you can see uh, beautiful environment details also coming i mean it's we do not we didn't do anything right so it's given like the base url java home packages platform whatever plugins we are using which python version we are using also you are seeing like three tests ran in 6.97 seconds and also 
it's giving the details as well so as there is no as there was new no log output so it didn't capture anything okay so in later part we can try something like uh, to add some screenshots and see that whether it's working or not so for this video this is the only thing i wanted to cover and uh, let's try like uh, to create a folder and then within that folder let's generate the report right so that's that that we can also do uh, okay so let me give the name as report slash my report dot html okay so let me hit enter again so let's see whether it's creating a report under the reports folder or not so as you can see the report folder got created on the fly we didn't do that anything so just the, from the commands only we just created so first it created this report folder and then it uh, it is like also maintaining another folder like assets so within that the style dot CSS folder CSS file is also there and this my report.html is also there okay and if i open it in explorer again or we can directly open in chrome so same result nothing fancy um, and also we can try something like let's let let make some test fail so we have only three tests for now so just uh, make this test test 03 let's make it fail so the actual test let's say this one and uh, so actually error test in this error text dot on okay so okay so what this is not the actual error text this is the expected error text okay so that's something i i did a mistake here uh, let me rectify it expected error text which is equals to the actual i mean or which is like we're verifying whether this expected error text is there within within this actual error text okay this is the actual so let's make it fail like something i give to make it fail directly so now let's execute it So as we can see, one failed and two pass. So let's see the report now. Let me refresh it, reload from disk, and then open in Chrome. So here we can see it's saying uh, it's failed and it's passed. So yeah so we are getting a mess uh, we are getting this results like failed and we are seeing like which test got failed but it is not capturing any output or like why it is getting failed so that thing we can check how it can be implemented so it should give some message here in the output okay that we can try later for now leave it but yeah we are getting some good HTML report here but it's not capturing any log output right so which if it is there it should be great I mean it would be great if you get some something here right so I will try I will check it if I get something I will definitely let you know and uh, another thing like uh, there is one more thing I wanted to show you. Let me delete this report. And now let me hit it again. And let me use this self content. I think there is a uh, 
it is saying self content report or something so self content html so i forgot the exact command so if i go to the documentation of this we will definitely get it so i was i was looking for this one self content html so what happens if i give this so let it execute okay so it created the report folder and within that as you can see uh, there was there is no extra folder right which is containing the css style styling right so this report is self contained so we can share it directly with our client or the stakeholder right to whom we want to share so that's i mean that's the good thing about this self content report so whenever you are generating a report make sure you are using the self content so that just one file got created without those i mean uh, those extra CSS styling should be available within this file only so there we do not need to get I mean it should not create another folder and having the having this that file within that so I mean I think it's better because you can directly share this file so let me open it again so as you can see it's again uh, giving something so let's try to check how to uh, PyTest HTML report how to show log console so we can try it So probably there are some issue with that. I'm not sure why it is not capturing. That's like this mess. This question is asked here. No log output captured in the PyTest system report, right? So I have the same issue. When test executing in GitHub pipeline, the command I'm using this one, and the version is this one. So I'm a bit tied up with the work lately. Before PyTest system version through, you can use capture request to does does capture request to TCS. If it is too much work, change the PyTest HTML to version 2.11. So there would be there might there might be some bug in this version. So they are saying like if I use if we use this 2.11 version, in that case it should work. So what you can try like capture TCS. That's that also you can try. Okay, let's try that. So and let's run it hmm. okay so let's refresh it and now let me open it again okay so now this time we are getting this console log right where exactly it is failing which what output it is giving right so that's a great thing and uh, so we can see like uh, what details I mean um, like where it is exactly failing and everything is we are getting able to see it from the report only so we do not have to go in the log directly so it would be very helpful for debugging purpose why uh, why there tests are failing directly from this report so I hope you got some good knowledge from this video let me know if it is helpful so to just let you know like we need to give this capture does just capture equals to t dash sys that's it so when we give that you get that extra output in the report uh, which would be helpful for when our tests are failing okay so
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब बाय